In the previous video entitled Letter Nodes, we looked at the reshape nodes, which are the key to manipulating letters on a baseline. In closing, I mentioned the possibility of changing letter colors or even the font style of each letter on a baseline. This video contains a nice tip that does not require reshaping, only some skills in using the mouse. Here I have a design with letters on a free line. I'd like to jazz the lettering up with some color and maybe a variety of fonts. In this case, there is a typo and the letter U has been left out of the word lucky. Now we have two ways to deal with this issue. The simplest is to select the lettering and add the missing letter in the text box for an instant result. I'd like to explore the other possibility which will give us some more options. Select the lettering menu and click on the line of lettering. Depending on where you click, you will see the vertical slash appear between letters and you're in a position to type in or delete letters at that position. Enter will complete the process. Now that I have fixed the typo, follow the same procedure and click in front of the letter L. Now hold the left mouse button and drag across the letter until you see a dark background. Now you're ready to select another font or indeed another color. Both can be done at the same time, but I will do each in turn. Select an alternative font for the letter. To complete the process, left click on the work area away from the lettering. Be careful here as you're in the mode to add more lettering. If this is your plan, then fine. But if not, use the escape key to end the process. To change a color, select the letter by dragging across until the background is dark, then choose another color. Continue selecting letters and changing colors to suit. To see the results, hit enter. Now to combine the processes, select the letters and alter the font and or color of each letter. Here is the point to remember. If the last selection is a color change, then a simple enter will complete the process. If the last change is a different font, then the process is finalized by first clicking elsewhere on the work area, followed by the enter or escape keys. The benefit of keeping all the lettering on a single baseline is that we can manipulate the baseline and use the reshape techniques we learned in the earlier videos. I hope this has helped. For the next video, we'll talk about some of the other tabs in our lettering property box. Stay tuned.